We're driving a 2022 Nissan Kicks. Coming up, we're gonna take this thing on a road trip and see how it does. But first, information explosion. Nissan Kicks is a subcompact SUV kind of vehicle, though it is not offered with all-wheel drive. Let's begin the review with interior. Interior thoughts? This is an interesting mix because it's the most luxurious level of a affordable vehicle. So there's this stitching, which looks really nice. Mm -hmm. There's cushy materials. There's all the things you might expect to have in a nicer interior, like the seat heaters and the backup cameras. And then there's also all the scratchy plastic. Base price is under $20,000 for the Nissan Kicks. Awesome. So like we, we're not bringing in fancy car expectations for the Nissan Kicks, but we're also acknowledging that it is an affordably priced vehicle, albeit the fanciest version of it. But in terms of like style, I think there are some nice bits that elevate it. Although I know there's one item that kind of caught you out. The blank button farm. It is populated by a single button, the steering wheel heater. And what I'm perplexed by is, I think this is the absolute fanciest rendition of Nissan Kicks you can buy. So I, I don't know what the intention was for the seven other blank buttons there. If you guys could um, add your own features in the button farm, what would you add to the Nissan Kicks? Oil slick? Rockets? <laughs> Outside speaker that goes brr, 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 brr. <laughs> These are all solid suggestions. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> With that passive aggressive funny comment from my child, let's talk about interior space. Headroom is excellent. So this is a sub compact, but I can sit behind my preferred front seat position with um, uh, adequate knee clearance and uh, ample head clearance. We've taken this on a road trip to Joshua Tree and I feel comfortable. There's plenty to my taste. The latch points are just exposed. There's no covering, which worked well. Very easy to access, easy to install the car seat. The thing I had trouble with though, the seat belt is angled towards the person who is trying to buckle it. And that sounds like a good thing, but I had a lot of trouble getting it buckled every time. Yeah, with our kiddo, when you got a, a booster seat there, it kind of butts right up against that um, seat belt receiver. And yeah, it's a little bit tough to get. It's tricky. Kiddo, any issues getting yourself in and out of the car? Yeah, that's true. Very easy for kiddo to climb in or leap out. An area where the Nissan Kicks really excels is cargo space. Again, subcompact, and there are 25.3 cubic feet of space in the back there. And when you throw out cubic foot numbers, it's like, oh, what does that even mean? Well, for us, that means that we can get all the luggage for a road trip and all the camera gear we need with a ton of extra space. I was surprised, honestly. Also, 60-40 split rear seats are standard, and that's not always the case. There are some vehicles that you don't necessarily get that on the base trim. So for a modestly priced car, very practical for cargo hauling. Just latte. And how high we are. Sweaty time. Sweaty time. Moving to safety. Okay, so it's fantastic on the active safety front. So automatic emergency braking is standard. You do get lane departure warning. So if you go over the line, it'll buzz the steering wheel at you, but it will not pull itself back in. So you don't get lane keeping assist, but you do get that warning. And then blind spot warning is standard, which I was sort of surprised by. That's rarely standard on most cars. Oh yeah, automatic braking if you're gonna back into something. Rear parking sensors are also standard. So there's a lot of active stuff to keep you from hurting yourself. Countering that, according to the NHTSA, front impact on the driver's side is four star, overall four star. Front impact on the, on the passenger side though is three star. And you know, when you get to these smaller vehicles, um, lower star ratings are a little bit more common, but uh, that three star, that jumped out to me. Countering my counter, uh, airbags. Uh, by my count, I believe there are 10 airbags. Uh, you got the front, you got the side curtain, you got the front side impact, you've got rear side impact, and you have dual 
good uh, knee airbags, one for you, one for me. In every video, we talk about family friendliness, and the challenge is that we're flexible people, so we are inclined to like make anything work. Like, sure, we could live with that as a family. So I agree with you about the safety. I think you can make it work from a size perspective, but not enough to give it the graphic. Yeah. Rear window test. All the way down. All the way down. <laughs> Armrest test. Uh, one of the challenges here is that uh, I can't keep my hands on the steering wheel in my comfortable 8 and 4 driving position and actually touch either of them. But if I lean over here, this is a little bit soft. I wish it came forward and it doesn't. And by the way, this is optional. Like uh, if you get the base trim, you do not get this. Uh, and then on the outboard, uh, it could be a little bit better padded underneath there. I'm going to go 60% uh, on the inboard, 40% on the outboard. Hey, if you subscribe to our channel, if you haven't, please do. At 100,000 subs, which is coming up incredibly fast, we're gonna review a windowless white van. Style! Pardon the very brief interruption, but I wanna thank the sponsor for today's video, Flying Eyes Sunglasses. They're perfect for adventures. We wear them in the helicopter, I wear them under a helmet, and I wear them in my daily life. They're incredibly durable. They're made out of the stuff called rosilamide. and you can do this. They have thin temples that go great for all of your many adventures. Eddie wears them in her day-to-day -day life. If you're ready to upgrade to aviation grade sunglasses or just regular eyewear, click the link in the description below. Use the promo code MICA for 10% off flying eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love a contrasting roof color. It's like one of my favorite things. And surprisingly, even though I always go for color, my favorite color combo is this black and white that we're driving. Yeah. The white has a lot of sparkle to it. it um, My really, ladies love that sparkle. <laughs> it really helps highlight the line. I think it's a stylish vehicle. So if you go with the base trim, you have fewer paint options, but on the higher trims, like this SR that we're driving here, which is the uh, highest trim, uh, you can get this contrasting roof uh, motif, and there's like a few different options. They're like $645, but they really do add kind of a distinct vibe. I think they have taken a small platform that uh, is excessively priced, but they've added a fair bit of charming style to uh, make it a little bit more emotive a design. What do you guys think? Do you like the look of the Nissan Kicks? Tell us in the comment section. If you're curious what we're doing between YouTube videos, you can give us a follow over on Instagram, in motion. I've said a zillion times that when you drive a car, whatever you've experienced with it is also framed by what you drove before it. And we drive enough like reasonably fancy cars that it's like you need a palate cleanser to get in here and realize what the Nissan Kicks is. What it's not is fast. I was curious about the horsepower figure because it's 122 and I was like, is that the lowest horsepower vehicle we've ever driven? Uh, and there are two exceptions. Number one, the uh, last of the classic Mini Coopers uh, that we drove um, from uh, Germany to England, that had 62 horsepower. Um, and then <laughs> there was another one, the Hyundai Venue, which competes against this, has 121 horsepower. So this has a one horsepower advantage, but man, when you floor it, we. I almost feel bad using the Wii graphic because not much <laughs> happens. It's a slow vehicle, but again, you got to think about the price. So it's not speedy, and the way power is delivered, it's uh, not much power, and it's delivered through a continuously variable transmission. So the little engine is trying its best, but uh, you're not going fast, and you hear those high revs. So um, accelerating is not its um, A game. And I would say that um, I, I didn't get sporty vibes at any point driving this um, uh, on our windy mountain roads. But one thing I did appreciate is um, on the freeways that uh, it feels pretty stable. Sometimes with like inexpensive cars, you have to make like little adjustments and it feels like you know, it kind of wanders. And uh, this definitely doesn't do that. Uh, it feels pretty good uh, at higher speeds. I also think that for an inexpensive car, it's not as loud as it could be. As for ride quality, I think it's fine. It's very uh, commuter quality and uh, worthy of just day in, day out driving. All right, well, that's what I think, but what does Sweetie think? Oh, that was a really weak clap, but we're here <laughs> anyways. Sweetie, uh, item number one, how do you feel about visibility in the Nissan Kicks? Visibility is actually pretty good in here. The B pillar over my right shoulder is a little bit thinner than normal. Yeah, I can see well past my left shoulder. I'm digging the visibility. Yeah. 
They know that um, you're a lady who likes smaller vehicles despite the fact that we own a Bronco. How do you feel driving this thing? I do like being in a smaller vehicle. Yeah, I feel more comfortable closer to the road. It does sit up higher than like a car might. So you have a little bit better view of the road ahead, but it doesn't feel like you're managing a ton of mass. Yes, that's the thing I hate. I noticed when I was driving it up in our mountain community that the steering didn't feel quite as responsive as I'd like, but I haven't noticed it at all since we've been on this trip. Yeah, I mean, we're driving uh, pretty open and straight roads here, but like in a curvy environment, a vehicle that's less expensive, that has maybe a simpler technology in the suspension and maybe um, uh, less expensive tires, maybe won't have quite the um, reactivity that you're used to from a lot of vehicles. But overall, like for a uh, vehicle that's um, just kind of getting you around uh, from one point to another, would you feel comfortable driving this? I would. Sweetie's comfortable. I'll be more comfortable when I get back in the driver's seat. Overall, for the price, I think we have a very competent riding vehicle. Emotion factor. I think it's easier to have an intense emotion factor with an expensive, super fancy vehicle. I think what's more interesting is when you have an emotion factor with a vehicle that is excessively priced. Yes, I think from a style perspective, it's definitely pulling some emotional levers. You're not gonna feel a huge emotion from the driving experience, but one thing I think is powerful is owning your own new car. Like, mm. the first time you buy your own new car, that's a really powerful experience. And even if it's not like the fanciest vehicle, it's yours and there's real pride and ownership. I think there's the potential for an emotion factor here. If you guys are feeling emotionally drawn to buy a Nissan Kicks of your very own, click the Kelly Blue Book listing link in the description below for real vehicles in your area. Remarks! Remark number one, infotainment. The standard screen is a seven inch screen, but we're in the higher trim and this has the eight inch screen. The infotainment interface is pretty basic, but despite the lack of real polish and you know, like dazzling interface, it's pretty functional. Yeah, I found it very simple and easy to use and I always love the combination of buttons, knobs, and touch screen. By the way, uh, standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, which is cool. One thing that I'm surprised by is the inclusion of a 360 degree camera system. That is very unusual in this category. Nissan was really ahead of the curve with the 360 60 camera integration. If you're like backing out of a parking lot or you don't want to whack something with your vehicle, that will definitely help. One of our commenters uh, on a previous video said, hey, why don't you guys talk about fuel economy? You should do that. I thought that was a really good suggestion. We don't talk about our own fuel economy because the way we drive has no relation to how normal people drive. Really fast and up a mountain and while we're driving, uh, getting car to car footage, like our fuel economy isn't represented real world. But what is, is fueleconomy.gov, kind of. Here's what fuel economy looks like from the Nissan Kicks perspective and some of the competitors. From a, an efficiency standpoint, the Nissan Kicks is really, really strong. Sweetie. Yes? Can I give you a trim recommendation? I know you will. I will. I'm going to suggest, and by the way, the trim recommendation is which trim will give you the essentials that you would regret not buying, but at the lowest possible price. I think the mid-level SV trim is the way to go. Uh, for about $1,900 extra over the base car's price, you get smart key access, you get roof rails, you get the center console that I would have complained about if we didn't have it. You get um, rear disc brakes, which means the base car has rear drum brakes. Your old Beetle had, had drum brakes. Wow. Yeah, they're in the back. I'm sure they're fine, but you know, this brakes. And just from an aesthetic standpoint, you also get alloy wheels, which I think is um, a real enhancement to the aesthetic of the kicks. If you want to live that fancy Museo style life, you can move up to the SR trim like we're driving. The SR trim gets a range of interior enhancements, but what's really interesting is the premium package, which adds heated front seats, which as mountain people we've really gotten used to, over-the-air head unit updates, Prima Tex seats, uh, which are like a artificial leather, and the Bose Personal Plus System 8-speaker audio with a uh, headrest speaker for the driver. And as far as I figured out, move the slider closer to T than that um, makes the speakers louder here. And if you move it to W, it turns them off. As an audio guy, I kind of like normal spatial stereo audio field. So uh, I don't know if I need that one. But if you're really big into headrest speakers, 
Among the competitors, you've got the Toyota CHR, you've got the Kia Soul, which was really kind of the original straight up front wheel drive, kind of like a compact SUV or subcompact SUV, but not really vehicle. And then uh, another vehicle, the Hyundai Venue, very inexpensive. We did a review with it. If you're curious what we thought about the Hyundai Venue, click up here. The subcompact SUV category is weird because you have this tier, which is like front drive, kind of tall little wagons, and then you've got SUVs that have like all-wheel drive available to you. So that might be things like the Ford EcoSport, the Kia Seltos, or the new 2023 Honda HRV, which I just drove for Kelly Blue Book and really enjoyed. But those are all more expensive than what we're driving here. Long story short, Americans don't buy hatchbacks, but we do buy SUVs. And if you want an SUV, you have many choices. Did we miss any remarks? If so, tell us in the comment section. Synopsis! I'm thinking about the essence of the Nissan Kicks. It is inexpensive, it is accessible, but it also has just enough enhancements to make it feel like a, kind of a welcoming space. To me, it is the Joshua Tree Airbnb of subcompact SUVs. Hey kiddo, you want a Zots? Yeah! <laughs> Strawberry? Yes. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm curious, did you like this format where we went somewhere and did some stuff? If you like this road trip style review, let us know and maybe we'll do more of them. If you're curious what we're doing between YouTube videos, you can give us a follow over on Instagram. And if you'd like to see more of these kinds of videos, you're welcome to subscribe. Hey, family! <laughs> I think we've done a good job reviewing the Nissan Kicks. May I have a five and a five? You! Come get your high five. Ah! <laughs>